Resources Management. Yes. yes. And uh, forces which... Exp- That's right. And, and then everything in the Middle East just Everything the in the Middle East just is it the Is it the only possible world we have or... Uh, that's another, the best that's, that's, that's possible another, world we have. <laughs> that's another subject on which we, we don't know and we would like to know much more. This is the theories of the inflationary universe. Yes. And how many universes there are and... If there are other universes, how do you comprehend them at all That's in right. the schemes and That's so right. on? Then there's the theory of shadow matter. Mm. You may be... <laughs> there is two parts of this equation from the strings. Well, I'll just mention the technical names without telling you about them. E8 cross E8 is the sort of uh, group on which we work on. One E8 controls all of life here. The other E8 is only apprehended, it's called the shadow world. It's only apprehended through gravitational forces. So, for all you know, there may be a gravitation. There are secondly, it's mountain here. We are living inside a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> only presence is true. You know, uh, once uh, talking with my colleague and friend Karsik, we were discussing. We were talking about neutrino mass. Okay, yes. missing mass and neutrino mass. Yes. Now, if it's turned out that neutrinos do have a mass, a few electron volts, then essentially the gravitational structure. Yes. Uh, and uh, and all the potential valleys and so on is really determined by neutrinos and the yes. visible universe are just test objects That's to right. see how That's it's right. distributed. That's right. So we are just doing experiments for somebody to find That's out right. how, how the rest yes. of it is doing. Yes, yes. Now it's an incredible yeah. situation in particle physics and the great pity is that just now the, the, the temper of the societies in the West particularly is turning away from big science just now when we have finally broken the code and we have you see we are in a totally different phase than when I started physics. Yeah. When I started physics there was no coherence at all. There was yeah. islands here and island here and islands here and there was no coherence about the subject. Now we have a coherence. There's a beautiful theory whose parts have to be found from experiment at the present time. Yeah. But somehow this is the this is the tragedy of modern times. I believe a very deep tragedy. Yes. That uh, possibly science has been so successful in applications, in yes. making technology, that uh, we are beginning to forget what science means for being human. You know, in terms of this, I think it's our destiny to be involved in this, if otherwise we're not human. Uh, yes, but you see people implies. say, and other scientists in fact say, at what cost? You see, I know, say, but the cost, I mean, you have mentioned and I have mentioned, the point is, what are your passions? Exactly. For following the agendas of yesterday and day before day, what are we spending on things yes. which are not going to take us That's very right. far? That's right. And so, being involved in science is a different matter. That's right. And I personally believe that being involved this way has implications which are much larger. It, I mean, it's, whether it's uh, the appreciation of beauty, culture, even, I would say, objectification of values. That's right. I think they are all part of it. Well, this is where it's so painful to be on the defensive, honestly, to be able to justify why you should do these experiments and so on. It's, it's, it's a terrible yeah. tragedy. But anyway, it's fun to do it. Oh, well, uh, certainly. It's fun for me to do it. Yes. I think I will probably survive till the present set of accelerators is still yes. busy. Yeah. But what will happen to our children? That's what worries me. Because we must leave them a leg- legacy yeah. of already accepted projects, just as our forefathers did that to us. Okay. And that's what's uh, passion, that's the passion. <laughs> well, thank you for the salam. Thank you very much.